Good evening, everybody. It's Zachariah. As many of you know, I am dedicating my running to run for every fallen police officer, firefighter, and U.S. Border Patrol member who lose your life in line of duty in 2021. Instead, like tonight, we're running mile 999 and mile 1000. And for our 999 mile that we've had an unfortunate with this mission, we're running for a fallen lieutenant and paramedic out of Washington. Tonight, I'm running for fallen lieutenant and paramedic Cody Traber. Here with the Spokane County Fire Department, number nine in Washington, and his last alarm was August 26, 2021, and lost his life after he suffered a fall off of the Wandermere Bridge while investigating a fire. He was 41 years old at the time of his passing, serving 18 years with the Spokane uh, County Fire District, number nine. He also previously served with the Stevens uh, County Fire District, number one, the Cheney Fire Department, the Spokane uh, County Fire District, number four, the Spokane County Fire District number one, as well as the Washington Department of Natural Resources, and leaves behind a wife and four young children. Tonight, I'll be running with the red line flag in his honor. I'll be doing seven laps around the track loop by my school, which is the equivalent of a mile in his honor. I'll be joined tonight by many people, including the uh, Similar County Sheriff's Office, the Marion County Sheriff's Office, which is also my cousin who's uh, leading the patrol. Some of the kind of sheriff's offices and a patrol, the Sanford Police Department, Winter Springs Police Department, Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation, um, another uh, department back there. We're also by the U.S. Customs and Border Protection running with us. Um, one of the brothers of Officer Ken Valencia, many bagpipers joining us, uh, and we have many other people, including the mayor of Winter Springs and a lot of other people who are joining us in this run tonight. Um, we also have board members as well. Uh, and. Mission Barbecue, lots of great people coming out to not only support my 1,000 mile, but support these two fallen first responders overall. Before the run starts, I'm going to do a quick prayer in honor of his whole family and department through the hearts of men are going through, and then I'll be on my way to start my mile, not mile number 999 tonight. that are tuning in tonight. Tonight, Zechariah running his first of two miles, miles 999 and mile 1000, to honor two more fallen heroes lost in line of duty. This first mile tonight, in honor of fallen lieutenant and paramedic Cody Traber. He worked with Spokane County Fire District Number 9 in Washington. Tragically, his last alarm was August the 26, 2021. Lost his life after falling from the Windermere Bridge while investigating a brush fire. 41 years old, serving 18 years as a member of the Spokane County Fire District Number 9 previously served with, served with many other agencies and leaves behind a wife and four young children. Zachariah completing his first of seven laps to honor this hero tonight. We're always so appreciative of the various local agencies that continue to come out to help honor our fallen heroes alongside Zachariah. Tonight's run very special here to support these two fallen heroes in the lead patrol car is Zachariah's cousin with the Marion County Sheriff's Office. Behind him, we got members of the Seminole County Sheriff's Office, Seminole County Sheriff's Office Citizens on Patrol, our hometown agency, Winter Springs Police Department, Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation, Sanford Police Department. Running with Zechariah, we have members of the U.S. Customs and Border Protection. Also represented tonight, we have members of the Weed Support Fire Department from New York that flew down to be a part of this run. Orange County Sheriff's Office, Pipes and Drums, and other folks that are here today to help pay tribute to an 18-year veteran of the Spokane County Fire District Number 9. 41-year-old Lieutenant and Paramedic Cody Traber tragically lost his life August the 26th, 2021 after sadly falling from the Wandermere Bridge while investigating a brush fire. Zechariah now completing his second lap to honor this hero tonight.
runs it carries a unique flag. Each flag is sent to the family of the hero that loves to honor. The flag he carries tonight, the red line flag, gets sent to the family of fallen lieutenant paramedic Cody Traber, along with the note that Zachary wrote earlier in the day. If you'd like information on how you can be a part of this mission, please visit running the number four heroes.org. I'm going to go silent starting on this next lap, and I'm going to remain silent for the duration of the run as we reflect on life of this hero, fallen lieutenant paramedic Cody Traber. We extend our thoughts and our prayers to the Traber family. We also extend our prayers to the Spokane County Fire District Number 9, as well as every agency that he has served for. The Stevens County Fire District 1, Cheney Fire Department, the Washington Department of Natural Resources, as well as Spokane County Fire District Number 4. We also extend our prayers to his wife and his four young children. We thank him for his service. We hope this run honors him well. And may God bless the Traber family.
Zachariah, do you have any final words for the family, a fallen firefighter or and lieutenant and paramedic, Cody Traber? To the whole family, fallen fire, lieutenant and paramedic, Cody Traber, everybody with every department he worked for, including the Spokane County Fire District Number 9 in Washington, which he served his last 18 years of service in. We hope you'll hear very soon through the passing of your loved one. He had a wife, four young children, and served 18 years at this fire district and even more in other departments. He was an amazing man. At the young age of only 41, he accomplished so much in his life. And that included being a hero to his community and saving lives whenever he had a call. I will never forget him. And we hope this room means as much as possible to everybody up in Spokane, Washington. And we hope this room can let everybody know up there that we have them through this hard time. We hope our 998th mile tonight helped you guys heal the most as we can make it possible. If you're part of his family, you've fallen Lieutenant and Paramedic Traber, I'll be sending you the trip line flag. I remember tonight in your hero's honor as well as a handwritten note already written and ready to be sent out in your hero's name. There is no preference on what we want you to do with the flag or the note, but whatever you do with it, we hope you find comfort every single time you look at it. Let your fallen hero, Lieutenant and Paramedic Cody Traber, will they be forgotten all the way here on the East Coast in Florida and throughout the whole entire nation. If all of you online and everybody here would like to join me in a 21 second moment of silence, just like the 21 gun salute each second day, kidding, one of the amazing thing this firefighter and paramedic and lieutenant did during his life, including as a firefighter with this agency. So if all of you join me in this 21 second moment of silence, just like the 21 gun salute to help them heal, please bow your heads right now. Thank you all very much for joining me in that 21 second moment of silence. Uh, like I said, it doesn't mean so much to the whole family if you did better heads at 21 seconds. We have one final run due tonight. The final one is for a fallen correctional officer trainee, and that is sadly our thousand mile with this nonprofit. Please join us in that run to not only encourage me, but help out this family through the hard time they are going through. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great and safe night, especially if you're a first spa working tonight, and I pray God blesses you all.